Good morning and welcome to Tuesday of Holy Week. Um, Tuesday, big day in Holy Week. And you might think to yourself, well, wait, why is it a big day? We have Palm Sunday, then we have Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Saturday. What about Tuesday of Holy Week? Do you know what happened on Tuesday of Holy Week? I actually don't. I don't know either. But here's the thing, right? We might not know, but Jesus knew that his passion was coming. He knew it was coming. He would have been there in Jerusalem, right, with his apostles, with many of the disciples. And you know what I think he probably did? Even knowing that something big was on the horizon, right, big real soon, it's coming, and we're still a couple days before that big thing. Here's what I think Jesus would have done. I think he would have prayed, spent time in prayer with his father. I think he would have spent time with his friends and been encouraged by them and given them encouragement. Um, I think he would have continued, you know, teaching and speaking about the love of God. He would have been who he is. I think sometimes we might think to ourselves, you know, like, oh, it, unfortunately, I think some people say like, Sunday, that's that's the big day. That's when, you know, that's when I'm Catholic. That's when I'm doing my thing. That's when I go to Mass. And then maybe we forget the other days, those days in between that we're supposed to consistently be living this life, right? Jesus would have been Jesus on Tuesday of Holy Week, which means that he would have been loving. It means he would have been making a difference in the little things that he would have been doing, right? We don't always have to do big, grandiose things. We, do, we don't have to die on a cross or rise from the dead in order to make a difference. That's the greatest difference Jesus made, but he made a difference in listening to somebody and speaking and encouraging someone. So I encourage you, live out your faith today to the best of your ability, even if it's in small ways. God bless you.